Today in the news, we got a whole lot of AMD. That's all I'm talking about these days. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's jump into it. In the last few days, we got a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors, and a lot of salt, and today is no different. So, a few days ago, we got our first leak concerning the refresh of AMD's Ryzen 3000 series of CPUs. There were two SKUs, the 3750X and the 3850X, and while those rumors don't have much to stand on, the leak that followed from WCCF Tech does. We got the naming scheme for three new CPUs, the 3600XT, 3800XT, and 3900XT. But that's all we had, and today, we also have the specs, and we're going to compare them to the current stack. By the way, this information comes from a well-known leaker who provided the first two CPUs, HXL on Twitter. Let's start with the 3600XT. Looking at the naming scheme, we can tell that it would be a refresh of the 3600X. The existing chip has a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of up to 4.4 GHz. This new 3600XT will apparently reach the 4 GHz mark in the base clock and the boost will jump all the way up to 4.7 gigahertz so a boost of 200 megahertz on the base clock and 300 megahertz on boost moving on we have the 3800 xt once again a refresh of the 3800 x that chip starts with a base clock of 3.9 gigahertz and a boost of up to 4.5 looking at the leaks on the refresh the 3800 xt breaks through the 4 gigahertz barrier for a base clock of 4.2 gigahertz. That's pretty impressive. The boost clock is the same as the 3600 XT at 4.7 gigahertz. So 300 megahertz more on base and 200 more on boost clocks. Lastly is the 3900 XT, a refresh of the 3900 X. The original 12 core CPU has a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz and a boost clock of 4.6. This new refresh it also breaks the 4 GHz barrier at 4.1 GHz on the base clock and up to 4.8 GHz on boost. That's the highest clock on any retail Ryzen CPUs to date. So here is what all the increases in clock speeds look like in percentages. It's all between around a 4.5 to just under an 8% increase over the originals. Considering that all of them completely beat any of the existing base clocks in the Ryzen 3000 lineup and that they all match at at least the 3950X's boost, I'd say it's a nice refresh. Another effect of those clock boosts is a higher fall off when all of the cores are stressed. Well, I looked at some stable all core overclocks that other outlets have been getting on the existing CPUs, and unfortunately, the base clock on the new XT chip is about 2 to 300 megahertz under it, except for the 3800 XT, which falls short by only about 100 megahertz. The good news is that these higher bin CPUs are bound to be better overclockers than the existing SKUs. But what else could AMD have done to justify a refresh? Well, an Infinity Fabric Clock Boost. I've said it before, but the latency on memory is kind of important. Right now, the Infinity Fabric Clock is set to 1800 MHz for an optimal one-to-one -one relationship with RAM speed at 3733 MHz. That's why AMD says 3600 MHz memory with CL16 is the sweet spot for price to performance. Crank on that cast latency and things get better and better. And yes, you can overclock the fabric and decouple it, but going past 1900 MHz is pretty much impossible, since Renoir on desktop is rumored to go all the way up to 2000 MHz. Hey, Future Snows here, and the author of the Ryzen DRAM calculator, Wanusmus, just made a tweet seemingly confirming that the new fabric clock will be 2000 MHz. So yeah, not much of a rumor anymore, but still, keep a grain of salt in there. This would make the sweet spot go up to 4000 MHz for memory in one-to-one -one mode. I expect these new chips to have this boosted fabric clock. Plus, you could probably push the fabric clock even further on the new chips. This change would allow overclockers that don't want to mess around with memory too much to get the best performance possible as simply as possible. What do you think? 
let me know down below. And lastly, the thing that bugs me about this leak is the naming scheme, but unfortunately, it's probably accurate. AMD could add an extra 50 at the end of the 3600X and 3800X, but unfortunately, it doesn't work for the 3900X because the 3950X already exists. So we're stuck with a weird callback to the early mid 2000 Radeon GPUs naming scheme on a CPU lineup. Maybe the T stands for turbo. I don't know, you know, the clock speeds. All right, so that was a lot of information crammed into a small amount of time, but that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Man, it's, it's a hot summer. And it's like 3 a.m., so it shouldn't be that hot. Ooh.